Hello guys, this is Andrew from Onyx International. We are here in Hong Kong and right now I'm going to show you some of our software news. Uh, we just uh, released our uh, 2.0 version. Well, we are still working on the few final details but it will re be released really, really soon. And right now I'm going to show you some of the, the new features. To start, uh, we can see that in our Node application, we have some news which would be one of them, for example. Imagine that now we are uh, writing something. Uh, Hong Kong. Now we have the possibility through this option to select any figure that we write and it's completely selected and then we can move it up and down and then also we can for example copy it and move it again copy it again have several times we also can make it bigger so this is one of very interesting option when we tend to to design or or make on some graphics here another option would be let's now make a new page Any option would be, for example, we can we can uh, create a text text box, so we can uh, now write on the on the keyboard on the digital keyboard. So this is the second option, and we can choose here if it's bold, uh, cursive, uh, change the, the the size of the of the letters etc and another option would be as soon as is something that we are still developing but uh, we will be able to look for a word that we have probably written it would be similar to handwriting recognition so when you write something it's easily find in the text this is a very interesting option too. Uh, let me show you some two new uh, features in the new uh, firmware. Uh, that would be the frozen, when we are in the applications, uh, all the third-party applications that we have, like Amazon Kindle in this case, or Writer P, we can frozen them. And when we choose to frozen them, that means that they will not consume uh, power when we are not using them. So this is a very good uh, option to enlarge even more the battery life. Uh, another thing would be when we are in the library, now if we have all the e-content, now we can classify that content by renaming uh, to putting like library names. So for example, we would choose here, we would choose, we, select, we would select three content and then to move to the, the new library that here we could create one, for example, and say uh, work, work uh, documents, for example. Okay. And then they are saved there. Though this too would be uh, the new... Uh, another, another good thing, sorry, would be this option here, in which uh, blocks the capacitive touch. If we press here, the capacitive touch doesn't work it just it would just work with the pen so this is good when you like to put your finger or or uh, your hand onto the the screen when using the pen so that would avoid that you um, can touch any button um, and uh, get back to the, the 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 other menu or erase something and now going back to the our neo reader our application for reading books we can see that, for example, if we select, we select the PDF text. Uh, the new thing would be that now we can read it. We can display two pages, one and the next one in the same screen. So it's probably easy for many people to read in this way, like, an, like a real book. Like we could be handing the device like this, like a real book. When we finish, just turn the page and turn the page 
This is, would be also very good. Now we go back to the single mode, single pitch mode. This would be also very interesting, probably in, a, in the Max 2, in the 13.3 inches uh, e-reader, when we read a music, a music e-music e score uh, file. Because then probably in this one you can see that uh, it's very small, but if you use it in a 13.3 in a inches, it's going to be nice. And you can be playing and uh, connected through the Bluetooth pedal and turning page every time that uh, you reach the end of the partitor. So this would be the, the main difference of the, of the new uh, software. And as I said, will be released very soon. Probably we'll have uh, some other, other news and uh, we will keep you updated. Thank you.